Hello, my dear friends. Fox Bandy here. Today, I'm going to introduce you to Greg from Fit for Expedition on YouTube. And I hope you'll enjoy this tour and interview. Hi, Greg. Hi. D, how you doing? Good. Hey, tell me a little bit about your rig. Okay. Um, this is a 2003 GMC Savannah box van, and it's a 16 foot long box. Um, this is pretty roomy. Right. And uh, I've got it in 2003 because it, I had a FedEx ground business. I was a FedEx ground contractor. And so this was actually my business vehicle, and now it's uh, soon to be my home. Yeah, so this electric here, and then um, this is for um, putting a hose into, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, what? from from the, the park, and then this is a gravity fill, um, so you can just fill it. It's dually, yeah, and I've got oversized, the tires are up on here are about four inches taller than the original, wow. so it's got a lot more clearance. So you take this off grid quite often, right? Yes. Yeah. So you're pretty, fully self-contained. Um, I'm still working on it. I don't have the gray tank in here yet. Okay. That's why I have that. that okay. Gray but that's a gray tank. tank. Anyhow. Yeah. yeah. But there is a bath, a toilet, and a shower that we still haven't finished plumbing. But the shower housing is in there. I have 360 watts of solar now. Onto the roof. On the roof. And with plans to go to 1440. which is a little over 500 watts. Okay. So that box is just storage. Oh, wow. And I got that at a, a place near Tucson. I put that, that panel up on top of there. That, that took about... Putting the panel up was actually didn't take that long. But it took me about 30 days to figure out how to do it. <laughs> I got this door for a couple hundred bucks from a salvage yard. So you do repurpose a lot of things. Yeah, uh, it, most of the stuff in here, well, I wouldn't say most, but a lot of it in here is either stuff that I already own uh -huh. or that I got really cheap secondhand kind of thing. This is your step? This is my step. So, Greg, are you full-time? I'm not full-time, but we plan to go full-time. We are downsizing and selling our home and, and our okay. other cars and things. So, you live in Arizona? I live uh, east of Tucson. Okay. So, you get out of here a lot and see all the sites. Uh-huh. What made you decide to get a cargo van? Well, I already owned but, it, but really, um, I actually saw uh, you on Bob Wells. Yeah. And, that, and I was like... Well, I can do that. I've well, seen you do it. I'm like, well, I could do that and and turn it into an RV. And we were talking about moving into an RV full time anyway. And I already had the truck. So, you know, why buy something when you're So, uh, is your wife on board with you on all that? It's mostly her idea. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, Here. it makes it really easy. Do you work? <laughs> um, I, all I do right now is work on the house. 
okay. to get it, to renovate it and get it ready. She right. works and she needs to work remotely. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to get like a wee boost or something like right. that. You're very talented as I've looked around. Oh, thank you. But what kind of uh, information can you get a, give our audience about starting to build a cargo trailer? Okay, I think number one is you want to make sure you have enough insulation. I think that's right. probably the most important okay. thing. Because you're going to be, in, especially in Arizona, when it gets up to 110, 115 right. degrees, you're going to need to bring that temperature down. And do you insulate the ceiling and the floor? So I have three inches of foam in the ceiling plus Reflectix. Mm. Um, three I, inches. Wow, three that's inch, a lot. Yeah, and I have two inches of foam plus Reflectix in the walls. What about the floor? The floor is, it has none, but it's one and a quarter inches thick plywood. Oh. plywood so it has some insulation value. right and this is high enough off the ground that it won't be as cold as some of the lower trailers and rigs so greg i have a lot of people with disabilities that watch my channel you have some disabilities you want to share that yes i i have a titanium ankle and titanium knee and uh, so many like screws and pins in my pelvis and hips and that I can't even, I don't even know what I've got. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, two back surgeries, um, the titanium femur on the other side. And I've got, uh, both my hands have been reconstructed one hand completely. How do you yeah. work around that with all the things you do on this here? I just gut it out. <laughs> gut it out. Through the pain. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah. You know what? I started, I was basically started living with this pain in 98. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't get any better. It doesn't get any worse. It gets worse. It does. I'm At say times. That. Yeah. Sure. And, and sometimes you push yourself and you push yourself until you can't do it anymore. So, so you haven't let it stop you. That's for sure. Yeah. Right. I, as a matter of fact, I, I, uh, I probably don't look like it right now. But I actually have my certification in personal training through uh -huh. ACE, and um, I've had that for about three years, and did and and maybe we'll do that even though I have the disabilities. So. Yeah, so you could probably do that off grid even with the nomad community, and your wife 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 will work remote, mm -hmm. so that's how you're gonna finance your living. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so Greg, how about you show us what you have here? Okay, um, so I already talked about how much insulation mm -hmm. we put in. Um, did all the framing. It's all two by threes uh, framing. And I put these two by threes going across oh, for the ceiling. Cross pieces, okay. But I, but I didn't want to go so tall that I couldn't walk in here. How high is this? Um, I, I think it's like six three because I'm just a little over six foot. Okay. Yeah. And I have the hat on. That's another right. half inch, probably. <laughs> right. Um, but I put these pieces of plywood down the side to keep it rigid because oh, this because, right here. Yeah, because the two mm -hmm. by threes are flat this here, not, oh, around not, the two by three. Okay. Yeah, and I and it hasn't. It's been very very sturdy. So. And you have something to screw into if you need or something. Exactly for putting the ceiling material when I finish, because obviously it's not finished. Right. So you know. you're still doing the wiring. It's kind of. Yeah, you're going to conceal it under the ceiling board. Yeah, I think basically it is the wiring that's going to be here. Mm -hmm. But um, obviously I'm not going to have this in the ceiling, this, right. this outlet. But, right. you know, I won't have those kind of outlets. Just but, hardwired. Yeah, yeah. Hard, yes, exactly. Okay. So, okay, question while we're talking about this, where's your, your, your power system? Okay, so... I have the solar panels up. The one, there's one here and one that was on top of the box okay. that we talked about. This is where it comes in through the front. With the MC4 uh, connectors. We, right. Yeah. And so these three, I'm putting another one on top here. These three are going to come in through the front. I'm probably going to run the rest of them through another spot. Oh, okay. But let me show you what I have. There, here's the here's the power. Let's go around here and come here. This is the power. This is the EcoFlow yeah. River. Um, How can, many watts is that? You know, I think it's 530 or oh, okay. something like that. Uh, and it was 250, but you can add a battery to it. That's, oh. what, that's what I like about the EcoFlows, is yeah. you can actually add batteries to that's it. That's nice. Yeah. Um, and it's pretty much given us 
you know, it runs down it, at night. Sure. It's down to like 15, 20%, but it's giving you, it's a lithium battery. So it's giving okay. you power all day long and then, right. you know, starts back up in the morning. Charge it back up. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's go back here. Share what you have. Let me, what do you have in the cab? I see your nice curtains. Okay. The cab had a door that went through from the cab to the box. And it was only about that tall and about that wide. Yes. And I'm big. I weigh 255 mm -hmm. and I'm over six foot. Right. So it's it was almost impossible for me to get through that door. So we cut so this you out. You still have to duck like I do. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's, yeah. And it's actually right at that point where you almost can't do it. Right. <laughs> I know. It's hard on the back. Yeah. But, um, yeah. But we, this is a little tip for people who are doing this mm -hmm. in their trucks. Right. This is just foam insulation for a pipe. Right. So it's a couple bucks a piece. Yeah. And that's the cheapest way I found to finish this That's off. cool. Yeah. Yeah. So you just have a curtain rod across there. Yep. Just a curtain. Perfect. Yep. And we just hem that with the iron on hemming, you know, hem stuff right. at the bottom. So are going to, are you going to find you tripping on this board down here? No, I haven't had an issue yet. Okay. We're going to put um, some kind of upholstery on top of it probably. Pos so that you possibly can go be a knees. little ramped. Yeah. Maybe, I yeah. don't know. Just an idea. Yeah. So this is a fan. Yeah, this is a Max Air fan. Okay. This is my all reversible. The, all the smartest decisions in here were my wife's, and this was her decision <laughs> yeah. to buy this. Right. So, and and it's a good thing we put this on before we put the box on the roof because mm -hmm. it would have been very difficult. Right. <laughs> um, but yeah, this works really well, and you know, so if you're running. And I'm not saying do this, but if you're running a propane stove inside, which mm -hmm. I do, right. um, you know, you can kind of turn that can vent on. It. And, you yeah. know, can blow it. You can blow the, right. the vent out. So. Right. Anytime you need ventilation with a reversible, you mm -hmm. can do that. Yeah. Okay. This is your shower? Yeah. This is the, this was, uh, it's a Duristall. Yeah. This I, is nice. I paid, I think this is only, I think it's a little bit more now, but I paid 220 for this and it comes with all the plumbing. How wide so is that? It's 32 by 32. And the height of the ceiling. So. Yeah. Uh, if you're doing this, if someone's doing building one of these, make sure that you try to put this together before you do the ceiling. Oh, okay. Because it is very close. Yeah. Then you're going to have to work around yes. it. Yes. And we did it after the ceiling. <laughs> so we had to kind of collapse it right. and then put it back together right. again. So. That's a lot of extra work. So this is just Kurt. It's not cut to the length nah. yet. Um, and we put this toilet in here, so it's a full bathroom. Basically, there, we don't have the plumbing done for the shower yet. But that'll go into a black tank. It's in the black tank now. There's a, okay. There's a. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> there's a 20 gallon black tank under there. Our plan is to try to run a second 20 gallon black tank in with a pipe going mm -hmm. through this tank okay. because of the way things are configured. And you have a shower set up. It's not, there's no shower plumbing so, yet. But you will be putting in a shower? Yeah, it will be in here. Okay. This, this is another one of my wife's brilliant ideas. It's a really good idea. It's a, um, it's, you know, it's a full height toilet. So it's, right. like, it's, like, it's like being in a home. Right. And it's also ceramic. Right. So it's not just plastic. Heavy. Yes. But it's nice. But it's nice. Stable. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So I, you already have all the things for the shower. It's just not put in. You already have the towel racks. Yep, and yep. Soap just, just aerated with soaps and things. Uh -huh. Okay, so, so let's move on. Here's your and it would kitchen. Be neater, it would be neater in there, but my wife's not here yet. She comes tomorrow. I know. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a man cave right now. Okay, let's talk about the cabinets. Did you make them or buy them? These are from Ikea. Okay. And um, they're, it's it's only $30 for this. Right. So it's very inexpensive. I put the handle, I put them together and I put the handles on them. Okay. I mount, mounted them with a sheet of three quarter inch plywood above the top. Okay. And on the back. Mm -hmm. And then I used, I don't know if you're going to be able to, it's a mess in here. Like I said, my wife's not here yet. I use these L brackets. Oh. To put stuff in, to put these in. Okay, I see. And it's very sturdy. Yeah, I mean, That's it's cool. It's, and the doors don't fly open when you travel. Well, we I put these latches in. Okay, magnets. Um, no, they're these. 
oh, go into here. Oh, those are better than magnets. And it yes. works pretty well. Yes. But we also, and I just put these handles on here last week. Mm -hmm. So we're trying rubber bands on here just mm -hmm. as an extra right. precaution. Right. Um, but I don't have any on there right now. The small bungees work too. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, let's talk about your sink. Yeah, this sink is uh, 27 inches wide. Look at this so sink. Wow. 10 inches deep. Oh, man, I would love that. I could get in there and take a bath, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's what I was teasing my wife about. It's like, yeah, the shower's not set up yet, but we can take a bath. We have a here. bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so, nice. Because you have a drain thing here. This is really nice, too. Yeah, there's also a, I didn't bring it with me, but there's also a roll-out stainless rack that rolls out and sits on this edge. Oh. So we can have countertop all the way across. What is a countertop made of? Okay, this is probably temporary. Uh, I'm, we, I'm not sure if it's going to be permanent or temporary as far as the countertop. Mm -hmm. But it's it's three-quarter inch plywood. Wow. Um, and we painted it with countertop paint. So it's okay. food grade paint. Yeah. Um, but it's going to scratch and stuff. Right. So it, of course. You know, so I, and it's they all do. Divots and, right. So we're thinking about putting a real countertop in. Okay. But your faucet. Yeah, this came with this cool. sink. And it's got a... Oh, that's nice. Yeah, this in there. You could actually... Point, point that outside and take an outside shower with that. Yes, yeah, so that we talked about that. I yeah. think, yeah. And then this is a soap dispenser, right? So that's kind of nice to have. Very nice. Yeah. So you have a lot of storage under here. Yeah. Well, I have some. It's a sixty-five gallon freshwater tank. Wow. So that's huge. Yeah, it's huge. That's my. That was my decision. Mm -hmm. Probably should have gone for a forty-five gallon because we might have a cabinet down there. Your plumbing looks very clean. Yeah, that's my wife. Wow. My wife does the plumbing. You better I, hang you better hang on to her. <laughs> I do the carpentry. <laughs> we kind of share the electric yeah. and she does the plumbing. Okay. So So um, you use a Coleman stove in here. Yeah, just are you planning on putting a permanent stove? No, because I like to have that countertop. So oh. that I can use it for other things. And you can take that outside when you want to cook exactly. on the outside. So but you have drawers. Yeah, and these are IKEA. Okay. Um and so it came all put together already. Yeah. No, no, I put it together. Oh. Yeah, but it's just a, it's a kit, basically. Okay. You put it together. Right. Um, and, you know, building these things, nothing's level. Right. Because if you're building while you're moving, right. that you can't, you can't, I mean, if you, I guess if you had it permanently in a spot, you could level it. And On a level have, concrete yeah. pad, it, uh, the only way is going to get it level. Right, yeah. right. But so I wasn't doing that. I'm building people's driveways and things like that. So that took a while to get level. <laughs> so let's talk about your fridge. The fridge is a fridge I already had. Um, Three-way? No, 110. That's 110. It. But that power station runs it um, usually all day. Sometimes I have to unplug it at night if the sun's not super bright. Right. And it only has 530 watts of of uh, capacity. Right. You know? so, so 24 hours a day, that's a lot. Yeah. Right. So I usually have to unplug it for at least right. six or seven hours. What I do is just turn it down to the lowest Cool, still stays cool, but hardly draws any power from like eight o'clock until six o'clock in the morning. Okay. okay. So, yeah, I, so I have IKEA cabinets over here too, and I mounted them the same way. But this one I actually cut down because it wouldn't fit. So okay. So 27 inches. So basically, I just I just cut the end off of the IKEA cabinet. I think I'm going to do a video on that later. Uh huh. Um, so I haven't finished this edge yet. Yeah. But, you know, it, it worked pretty well. So you know. this is going to be what up at the top of this? This is going to house our 2,000 watt system. Okay. Plus a microwave oven is going to come out the side So here. that's a big space. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, And then right now it's just a catch off. Microwave right there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you have a big closet. And right now this is just a catch all. Which mm -hmm. is convenient because, you know, we're traveling in a right. big group right here. Right. So you're just like, I got to get moving. Just right. Just throwing stuff in there. Everybody wants to go. Come <laughs> yeah, on, yeah, Greg. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, we're going to get left behind. <laughs> yes. I'm so sure with this bathroom. Okay. So um, this, I built this box really large. It's 54 by 36. Okay. So that we could put our bikes in there. Oh, wow. We don't have our bikes with us because of the spare tires still yeah. in here. So we really can't fit them in here now. Mm -hmm. The spare tire is going to go underneath. Okay. So I'm going to build a rack. But um, right now there's just firewood in there. 
Okay, what's over here? This is going to be uh, upholstered. It hasn't been upholstered. I haven't mm. upholstered it yet, but it's just a cushion I had. You know, the same, nice. the kind of theme. I just stuff I already have. Mm. Um, and it's going to be upholstered, some similar to what is on here. It's just going to be a bench. It's just a bench. It's just okay. You have we, storage underneath. There's storage in there okay. right now. It's just food. Um, we, my wife, when we sit at home, she watches TV with. We have a, a L shaped you mm -hmm. know, sofa. Right. And she always watches with her feet up okay. on the one side. I like your little footstool. Yeah, yeah this also is... great storage, right? Yep, storage. It doesn't yep. go anywhere because it's yep. so heavy; it doesn't move. Right. Yeah. So, what do you have over here? So these are lockers. I was talking about uh, being a certified personal trainer. Mm -hmm. This was in my gym at my home because oh, wow. I have commercial equipment and right. stuff. And but it was never being used, so I just took it out and put it in here. Perfect. Um, and yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that before. And it, it is you can lock it, so you can put you know, right. paper, important paperwork and stuff. And yeah, and that's good too. Yeah. And then, uh, this is just a kitchen cabinet from the habit store that's turned on its side Oh. and it's another catch all. It's like, just, you can just Perfect. kind of stuff stuff in yeah. there. You'll you know? figure out what each cubby's for. But yeah. 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 So this is very nice, Greg. You're um, doing a lot of work. You're still in the process. It's not done, but I know on your channel, you're going to show us the finished product. Product. Yeah, yeah, and I'm gonna do another uh, tour on my channel, probably similar mm -hmm. to this. Yeah. And uh, to be honest with you, I have been slacking on doing the video because it takes so much longer to do the work I and know. the video at the same time. Well, I would like to come back in a year okay. and see everything you've done. Okay, that would be cool. If you would like to make a commitment, I make. We're gonna do it. Okay, yeah, definitely. One more Thanks. thing, this sure. I built this header right here. Yeah. Because there's going to be two room ACs right there. Oh, okay. And so that's why that's built exactly for that purpose. That's and a nice window there, too. Yeah, I put that window in. And mm -hmm. this was a roll-up door. We didn't even talk about that. Uh, tell us what your channel is. My channel is fit for expedition It's all one word, FIT, the numeral four, and the expedition. Okay, so yeah. people can go watch your channel and see some of the progress. Oh, fantastic. I didn't mention this window. How big are these windows? That one's 42 by 22. Wow, that's yeah. huge. Huge. You, the only reason we bought that window that big is because the ones that were smaller are more expensive. Yeah. So we we were like, well, well I, I know. know what the big Might as well is. go for it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What do you have over here? Okay, so over here is... Let me move over here. Um, can I show this real quick? Because, Please, yes. Okay, this, um, if you look on the power station, I'm at 13 watt output. Yeah. Okay. This, oh, let me plug this in. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that's not it. That's the water pump. Still figuring this stuff out. <laughs> um, We're all a work in progress. Yeah. Um, okay, hopefully that's it. Yeah. So still at 13. Right. Even though it's on. Right. 16. Okay. 18. Five watts. And that you puts can out a all lot the way of air. Across the room and feel that. And very rotates all the way. Rotates all the way around so it can be towards the bedroom area. So it what is the name of that? Straco. Uh, Sirocco. Sirocco. Yeah. And where did you get that? Of another one of my wife's. Uh, ideas, which is a great idea, and she found it. It's just you can get it on Amazon. I think she found the video on it. Go, what does it say? It says, Oh, uh, California. No, Caframa. Uh, Caframa. Cal oh, Caframa. Yeah. Okay. So and it's struggling. not cheap, it's like 80 bucks. Okay. But it's definitely worth it. Yeah. I, I didn't think it would be, but it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So show us this here. I know you, they have this is your dining. It's dining, it's working. My wife's okay. gonna be working remote, so right. this you know this will probably be her desk. Really. Mm -hmm. um, but it it pops down. Oh, that's oh, nice. Yeah, that's all right. But, we get the idea. <laughs> yeah, all the way down. That's great. So it's you know it can be really spacious in here. Right, a lot of room. So it's, good for, so it's good for storing other things in here mm -hmm. while you're traveling. Right. Yeah. Man, this is very nice. I can't wait to see the finished product. Yeah, well, uh, me um, either. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, 
thank you so much well, for, for sharing time. this with us. I appreciate you checking and it out. And I know everybody's going to be really excited to see this. You've done an amazing job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming and watching this video to the end. I appreciate you. Well, check out Greg Fit for Expedition on YouTube. The link will be in the description below. Make sure that you tell somebody you love them today. They need to hear it. Everybody does. Everybody needs to be loved. Thank you for coming. Please hit the like button, make a comment, share this video out with your friends, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified, and the subscribe button. Thank you so much for participating and supporting my channel.